Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So far, I have completed eight problems on simulation. In this video, one more problem, ninth problem I am going to explain. So if you are continuously watching all the videos, hope you got a good command on how to solve the problem on simulation. If you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject operation research, select the videos of simulation theory and then starting problems. Now before starting the ninth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the points then I will explain all the points in detail. Now, see the ninth problem. The director of finance for a farm cooperative is concerned about the yield per acre she can expect from this year's corn crop. The probability distribution of the yields for the current weather condition is given below. The yield may be, the yield is given in uh, kilogram, yield in kilogram per acre. So how much is the yield 120 kilogram per acre or 140 or 160 or 180? So these are the expected yields 120 to 180, 120 to 180. For each of the yield probability is given 0 0.18, 0 0.26, 0 0.44, 0 0.12. She would like to see a simulation of the yield she might expect 10 years for weather conditions similar to those she is now experiencing. Simulate the average yield she might expect per acre using the following random numbers. So she wants to find the simulated yield for the next 10 years. For 10 years, the random numbers are given here, right? This is the first question. Now, she is also interested in the effect of market price fluctuations on the cooperative's farm revenue. She makes this estimate per, of per acre, no, sorry, per kilogram prices of corn. The prices of corn are also fluctuating. The prices are from 2.00, 2 rupees, 2.10, 2.20, 2.30, 2.40 and 2.50. These are the expected prices per kilogram of corn and probabilities are given. Simulate the price she might expect to observe over the next 10 years using the following random numbers. This is the second question. The first question we have to simulate the yield for the next 10 years. Second question we have to simulate the prices for the next 10 years. Third question Assuming that the prices are independent of yield, combine these two into revenue per acre and also find out the average revenue per acre she might expect every year. So three questions are there. The first question we have to find out the simulated yield. Second question we have to find out the simulated price. Third question multiply the yield with the price to get the revenue. So we calculate the average revenue every year. That's it. So first of all, yield. Random number coding for yield. So here random number uh, interval for yield. Yield are given 120, 140, 160, 180. For every yield, probability is given 0 0.18264412. 2, cumulative. So 0 0.18, first cumulative as it is. Then 0 0.18 plus 0 0.26 is 0 0.44. 0.44 plus 0 0.44, 0 0.88 plus 0.88 plus 0 0.12. Well, that is a cumulative. Now, first random number. The first cumulative is 18. So below 18, 17. So 0, 0 to 17. The next will start from 18. 18 to 43 because we have 44. Then 44 to 87 because the next is 88. So 88 to 99. This is the random number coding for yield. Now, random number coding for prices. The prices are given from 2, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2 2.5. For each of the price, probability is given. The respective probabilities. Find out the cumulative. 0 0.05, 0 0.05 plus 0 0.15, 0 0.20, 0 0.20 plus 0 0.30, 0 0.50. Like that. The first cumulative is 0 0.05. So, below, below 5, we have 4. So, 0, 0 to 4. 0, 04 then 05 to 19 because here it is 20 
then 20 to 49, 50 to 74, 75 to 89, 90 to 90. So we have given the random number coding for yield and random number coding for prices. So first we will simulate the yield for the next 10 years. So year 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 10. Random numbers for yield are given in the problem. Now find out 20. 20 random number will fall in which code, in which interval? It will fall between 18 to 43. So what is the yield for this range? 140. So I have taken over. Next random number 72. Locate 72 in which interval? 72 will fall between 44 to 87. What is the yield? 160. So I have taken 160. 34. 34 will fall in 18 to 43. So what is the yield? 140. So in this way, locate this random number will fall in which interval? And corresponding yield you have to write. That is the simulated yield. Now simulated price for the next 10 years. First column year 10. Then second random numbers, 10 random numbers are given for the prices. Now locate 82 will fall between 75 to 89, 2.4. 95 will fall between 90 to 99, 2.5. Like that you have to find out the simulated prices. Now third question simulated revenue for 10 years. Revenue means multiply the yield with the Price. Here simulated yield I have copied from here. Simulated price I have taken from here. Multiply this yield with price you get simulated revenue. Take the total of simulated revenue 3386. Total revenue for 10 years. Now average revenue per year is 3386 divided by 10 338.6. 338.6 is the average revenue per year. This is the simulated. That's it. So this is the end of this problem, problem number 9, very easy problem. The next problem is the 10th problem which is the last problem on simulation. Inshallah we will we'll continue that in the next video.